I'll give you some time alone. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I lost her baby. Oh. Okay. You did nothing wrong. You were careful. I was so lucky to get pregnant. I ran around thinking I was invincible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Listen to me. It's not your fault. Okay? Carla, you're the strongest woman I know. You practically willed us to get pregnant. You wanted this child so badly. Yeah, I was already picturing our little baby. You were so sure it was a girl. I would have been happy either way. You're so sweet. Talk about all the things that you were going to do with her. Remember when you signed up for the father-daughter dance? Yeah. <laughs> you told me that it was a Lula, really. That's how I was right. I'm sorry, Jax. I am so sorry. I'm... God. I didn't realize how much this baby meant to me until just now. What are you telling me? Nothing. What? You keep saying that losing our baby isn't my fault. Hey, no, it doesn't matter, because we can't turn back the clock. Come on. You have to tell me what you're thinking. Oh, you've been through enough, okay? We don't need to talk about this now. No, we don't. What's going on? And I'm going to go crazy, and I'm going to start to imagine the worst, so talk to me. Uh, okay, all right. It's just... Michael bought a gun. He accidentally shot Kay, and... I think it was gone for days. Well, and, and you do know And it's because of Sonny. It's the endless violence that surrounds his life. And it costs us our baby. You know I love Michael like a son. And, and it breaks my heart to see the choices he's made and, and the people he's hurt. He was just trying to help. He thought he was helping. That's just it. Jax. That's just it. He bought a gun because he thought he needed to protect you from this text message killer. Because he doesn't trust the police. He doesn't trust the authorities to do their job. So he took matters into his own hands. And look what happened. He's learned his lesson. Yeah. Well, his father is his role model. He's watched Sonny do business for years. Now if somebody crosses Sonny, he takes him out. And violence is his life. It doesn't have to be Michael's life. Okay, then... Does it? You know what? He needs to come forward and admit to the authorities what he's done. So he knows that there are consequences. I can't do this. I can't have this argument with you. I don't have to I'm right now. Hey, hey, I'm not upset with Michael, okay? It's funny that I'm upset with. I went to talk to him. What did you say to him? What I'm telling you right now, that Michael needs uh, care and treatment and... That Sonny should get out of his life. I'm sure Sonny was furious. Oh, he didn't take it too long. I actually thought he needed to spend more time with Michael, not less. You, Sonny has been a very loving Carly, father. Carly. Jax. We're a family now. I'm not going to let your ex-husband ruin our future. Hey, I've got to run one more test if everything looks good. You can go home today. Um... Not necessary. We lost the baby. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Um, I'll come back later. <laughs> to follow up again tomorrow, but you don't have to spend the night in the hospital. Thank you for everything you've done. I wish we could have had a better outcome. I wish I could say something brave like, you know, I'm sure we'll feel better soon. Or who said life was fair, but that seems pretty empty to me right now. I just want to, want to go home. Hey, you know what? Just wait here and I'll pack everything, okay? 
Give yourself some time to heal. And whenever you're ready for your next appointment, you just let me know. My next checkup. Right. It's too soon to talk about this now, but I hope you'll leave your minds open to the possibility of trying again. Even though it's difficult for you to get pregnant, it's possible you two can conceive another child. Is Mrs. Hill out of ICU? I'm sorry, what? Mrs. Hill. Uh, yeah, her vitals are clear. She's been moved to uh, room 622. Okay, thanks. Are you okay? Dr. Lee's going to ask you to look over the charts. I don't mind telling you, but Carly and Jack's lost the baby. Oh. They're devastated. I didn't know what to say. And then I started thinking about Robin and... How she'd feel if it was her. Don't, don't even go there. Couldn't help it. She'd be destroyed. This baby means so much to her. How about you? When Robin was talking about having a child for those months, I was honest about where I was and how I felt. I didn't want to be a father. Didn't know if I would ever be ready. Which is why you guys broke up. Yeah, but now she's pregnant. She's determined to be a single mother. I'm technically the father, but I have no responsibility. I'm free to stay clear of the whole situation. But? If Robin lost the baby, I would feel the loss. I will be running my business without violence, which means I don't have to pick up a gun. You don't have to pick up a gun, right? Um, we'll be safe. You, me, Mom, Morgan, and Jax. Yeah. You mean we'll be like a family? A normal family? Well, I don't know about normal. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll be able to pick you up, take you to the park, play baseball with you. Sure. Video Put, games? Video, whatever you... Hi, Mom. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Hey, sweetie. How are you? Sunny? Hey. Shelly didn't expect to see you here. Dad just said that everything's going to be different. He's going to be around us more. We'll be almost normal.